Tonight we're going to have chicken paprikash for dinner. And this is a dish that originated in Hungary and it uses a smoky, spicy paprika. Uh, sometimes you'll see the paprika under the Hungarian hot or Hungarian very hot <laughs> in the store. But what I have tonight to use is a smoked paprika and it's a hot version. I'm going to start by turning the precision induction cooktop. PIC onto the sear mode and we're gonna put a chunk of butter in the pan and now some of the other ingredients in this dish are um, ground red pepper and some vegetable or chicken stock whichever you have handy in your pantry and we're also gonna use some sour cream in the uh, mixture that's a sauce at the end I'm using the sear mode on the cooktop because it gives us the hottest temperature to get the, the onions and the chicken started cooking. Then we'll lower the heat and cook it slowly. So get a little butter going on there. I just sliced up a, a nice Vidalia onion. The chicken that I chose to use for this is um, chicken thighs, they're boneless and skinless, and I have some um, chicken tenderloins. Now you can use any kind of chicken that you like. I usually like to have the skin off of the chicken. I don't like to eat the skin, but you can leave the skin on if that's what you prefer. The onions are starting to become a little more translucent and we're going to get the chicken ready to also sear that while it's in the hot mode on the cooktop. I'm going to start with the chicken thighs because they are a little bit more, a little bit thicker than the tender ones. If you find any extra fat on the chicken thighs that you want to remove, go ahead and do it at this point. If you are cooking the chicken with the skin, put the skin side down to start. But I still use the side that would have the skin on first. Throw in some of the chicken tenderloins. Using fresh today. All right. As the cook, as the chicken starts to brown a little bit, flip them around so that you start to get just sear the outside edges of the chicken uh, before we reduce the heat and add spices. As we're going here, going along here, flipping it around, we're going to start to put in seasoning. Start to see the brown. I like to see the brown before I start covering it up with paprika. <laughs> this is an, an example of one of those kind of meals that's very easy to warm up later and it tastes like you just made it. Okay, now, okay, now while the chicken is searing on the other side, I'm going to sprinkle on uh, what I measured was two tablespoons of the smoky paprika. So this will be a little spicy. If you don't like that much spice, just use the smoked paprika rather than the hot paprika. I had a tablespoon measured in each one of these little papers. And then, because we like spice in this house, I also have a teaspoon of red pepper ground. So we have two tablespoons of paprika and one teaspoon of red pepper. Now you can you see the color start to change. <laughs> and we're gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna turn them around so both sides get some of that nice coating. 
And then we're going to simmer it in some stock. And you can use uh, chicken stock or vegetable stock, whatever you have handy. Don't need to um, have any special kind. It's Now we're going to simmer this in about two cups of stock. And while this is cooking, I'm going to make some rice because we're going to serve this over rice. And then when the chicken is finished cooking, I'm going to take the pieces out of this um, like juicy mixture here and we're going to make um, a creamy sauce by adding some sour cream. So in the meantime, I'm going to let this simmer. I'm going to turn it down to uh, medium heat. And we're going to cook this about 20 minutes until the chicken is fully cooked. And then I'll show you how we make the, um, the creamy mixture that we're going to pour over the chicken. Okay, I'm going to go make the rice and I'll be back. Nice simmer going on here, and the chicken's almost finished cooking. The chicken pieces are thoroughly cooked now. You can see there was a lot of shrinkage in here, and also some fat that surfaces. So that's one reason that I take the skin off or use chicken without skin, because additional chicken fat in there would make this a more high fat meal so you can do whatever you like now the other reason I like to use a precision induction cooktop <laughs> is I can shut it off immediately and look how quick the cooking stops it's all about control <laughs> all right I'm gonna transfer all the chicken pieces onto a plate for now and I'm and then I'm going to mix up the um, sauce. So here we go. Lots of nice chicken here. And lots of flavors in that sauce. All right, let's just set that aside. And we're going to take the sour cream. Now I have a 16 ounce container here. I'm just going to use half of it. I'm going to pour that mixture into a deeper container. And then we can whisk in the sour cream. It turns into a nice golden brown with all that red, dark red paprika and the chicken flavors. Isn't that nice? All right, now I'm going to return the chicken to the pan. the sauce on it and get everything mixed in real nice because there was some just juices from the chicken sitting on that plate with all the paprika on it <laughs> so let's just warm it up again and while that's warming up and keeping all the chicken nice and warm I'm going to get out the rice All right, we're gonna turn off the heat and I have a plate with a bed of rice and we're gonna serve the chicken pieces right on top of the rice. Look at those beautiful colors coming through on this 
sauce that we have. A couple nice pieces of chicken on here. And we're going to serve plenty of sauce. Give it the nice golden reddish paprika. And a moment ago I was talking about it's a nice meal for leftovers. Well, guess what? I'm going to set up my leftovers right now. I have a Pyrex dish with a lid and this goes into the Hot Logic Mini that we like to use for warming up our meals. And I'm going to set up our leftovers right out of the pan. It can't be any fresher. And we'll put the sauce in there too. And when this cools off, I'm going to store it in the refrigerator. All right, there's a nice easy dinner. Chicken paprikash served over rice. Lots of flavors. And if you can do it, make your leftover meal ahead for during the week. And you'll save time during your busy work week. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.